The next step in our application is going to be to accentuate our bone structure. So through highlight and contour, we're able to add a little bit more dimension to the face and even alter the bone structure slightly. I want to show you one of the most important products at Kevin O'Quan Beauty. This is Kevin's original formula for sculpting. The sculpting powder in light, medium, and deep are a fantastic addition to your makeup wardrobe. You can use these to contour eyes, cheeks, and full face. Um, I think this powder is unique. It comes in individuals, but it also comes in a nifty palette. So this Contour Book number three has all three shades of the Kevin O'Quan original formula powders that you can use to contour, again, your eyes, your cheeks, and other areas of the face. To start, I'm gonna use my sculpting brush, my contouring brush by Kevin O'Quan Beauty to pick up a little bit of our light shade. So when you're picking up the product, you wanna work it into the bristles before you take it to the face. So you'll notice I'll work it into the side of my hand or the back of my hand up here before I take it to the skin. This will help to make sure that you get the right amount of product without ever creating a dark spot that's hard to blend. So pick up your product, apply it where you want the intensity and then blend it out. I like to bring the product forward towards the eye, but never crossing past the iris. From here, I'll use the same brush to stretch the product upward and blend into the cheek and to soften any lines underneath. So today we're creating this nice, like, soft glam look. I always start with a lighter sculpting shade to do that, and then later on we'll intensify with a deeper sculpting shade from the, from the Contour Book 3.0. So we'll start with sculpting light, and then we'll go into sculpting medium and deep if we need it. When you're contouring a jaw, you wanna start behind the ear for your point of intensity, bring it over the jawbone and bring it forward then blend it down into the neck, and again, soften up top too. You don't want any hard lines. You want it to look really blended and almost airbrushed. If you're more comfortable with a larger brush, you can also use the Neo Powder Brush that we used earlier for her foundation. So I'll do the other side with the Neo Powder Brush. So just pick up your product, work it into the bristles just like we did before, and apply your point of intensity by the ear, and then sweep it forward underneath the cheekbone. And to avoid any hard lines, you want to blend upward and then again, soften underneath. So this will give you a larger spread of products. So you can cover more ground quickly. Again, I also like to do the forehead. And then I like to do a little bit of color on the jawbone from behind the ear. And then down into the neck. The contouring shades in light and medium are really designed to mimic natural shadows that you see being cast from your bone structure. So they're very unique in that they're not too red, not too warm, very different from like a terracotta color or a, a bronzer for sculpting. This is gonna be a more natural way to sculpt. And then you can always enhance with other colors like blushers and bronzers on top. But this will give you that initial shadow and that initial shape. Turn the other way from me. So this is a clean brush. I'm just using it to soften and blend even more. It's nice to have a clean brush in your kit just to kind of soften down colors, remove when there's too much product. It gives you more of that airbrush finish. I love the Neo powder brush for applying color too because of the white bristles. You can see the exact shade and how much you're loading into the brush as you're applying it. Next, I'm gonna take my medium sculpting shade and we're gonna go a little bit more intense now. So rather than covering larger areas, I'm gonna use just the tip of my brush to apply closer to the hairline so that we get that nice gradient. So it's darkest at the hairline, and then as the brush pulls forward, I take away some of my pressure, and it creates that nice blend of color from dark to light. So to intensify the look, we're gonna pick up some of our sculpting medium shade, and we're gonna start right by the ear and keep it a little bit smaller and tighter. We wanna just intensify certain areas. These are called points of intensity, and they help to create the deeper shadows of the face. Now we've used two sculpting shades. I'm gonna take a little bit of the same color, starting behind the ear, and really enhance that V shape by contouring the jawbone. If this brush is a little too big for you when you want a precise application of a deeper shade, switch back over to the contouring brush. I'm using my contouring brush and sculpting powder medium to strengthen our points of intensity and take this look a little bit more dramatic, give us a nice bit of extra dimension. Now with this smaller brush like this, it's important to apply the product first, then clean your brush on your hand or on a tissue, and then start to stretch with it because you don't want to keep adding product. We want to just blend. Here's a pro tip. You can apply with a smaller brush and then blend out with a bigger brush so that you maintain your point of intensity where you want it, 
but still have that capability of really diffusing and creating a softer blended look, almost like an airbrush look. So precision with one tool and blending with another.